Do any of you guys go to bed at night genuinely like so excited for your coffee and your breakfast in the morning? Because that's been me for the last like two weeks. Is it good? Yeah. We got a little change of pace today. We've gotten over 18 inches of rain in the last 18 days, so we really haven't been able to enjoy this patio too much. So we got something that hopefully is gonna change that. Getting materials has been one of the hardest things here in Panama and we've shuttled almost everything up ourselves. You got the power that it requires? I got the power. Get ready. So I do have a pretty big fear of heights, but I need to get up on this ladder. Hopefully for one of the last few times because I'm bringing this awning up. This is a huge awning, 18 feet by 12 feet. That top is a little sketchy. Sade and I are gonna stay here planted on the ground. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna be able to help Jordan kind of figure out where the actual mount is gonna go just by kind of visually looking at it from here and then he can kind of somehow place it while he's up there. Move it that way a little bit. Okay, right there. Two down, baby, two down. It's tough for him because he doesn't really have any leverage. And of course, with his fear of heights, he doesn't want to kind of lean over the edge any more than he already is, even though he probably could. Yeah, baby, let's go. Come on, baby, you got it. Oh, uh, it's so close. How does it look? I mean, when, if, if, it's hard to tell right now. <sighs> Done. I don't know what it looks like yet, so I'm pretty excited to go and check it out. Take a look. I, I want to go see it super bad, so I'm, I'm climbing down the ladder now. Sick. Okay. How, how much do we pull it? Like, do we want it to be concave like that? Because the water is going to, like, pool. No, it's going to be tight. It's going to be as tight as it possibly can be. This big galvanized beam is what's going to hold the awning up on the other end, so the ends opposite from the roof. And this is kind of like metal fence posts. If you ever see like those metal fences, this is exactly like the posts that go in between.
don't think it, I think if we get into place and just leave it alone. Okay, that one's perfect. It looks really good, honey. I mean, the most important part is not that it's level, it's that it looks level, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's perfectly level, sweetie. So is this, is this gonna be life now? Just anything that I'm eating, you're gonna want a pot of it, huh? And because you're my baby, I'm gonna have to give you some, no matter how badly I don't wanna share. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have a crawling baby, we have a sanding baby. <laughs> What's this? What is this? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that metal post, because I have to have the laser going along the edge of this roof, and then right along the edge of that post. Okay. Right on this. The other way, that way, towards the workshop. So Jordan's been trying to do some crazy stuff over here with the level to try to get this beam in line with the one that we're gonna put here, but also in line with the workshop. Okay, got it. Right where Mr. Plumbob is. Right where the Plumbob is? That's the spot right there. This is... This brings you back to building the foundation of the workshop, doesn't it, honey? Just, we mix like 40 wheelbarrows full of concrete to do the foundation. Well, look how ripped you're getting, sweetie. Look at these, look, come on, give, give us a flex. Uh. I gotta shoot my own face <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I got Sadie down for a nap in her crib, which that's a win first of all, but also the rain is definitely about to come any, any minute. The fog is rolling in, the humidity is raising, and I'm so happy that we got both of these posts in. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait a couple days until we can actually tie the canvas there and really see what it's gonna look like. Kaylee's like half whispering now because she's very concerned about waking up Sadie, <laughs> even though she's like in there. She's at least 30 feet away. <laughs> And also our plan, so instead of just having these big, ugly pieces of metal sticking up from the ground, we really want to have some sort of viney plant to kind of wrap all the way up around, whether it's some sort of bean or just beautiful vine. Um, I think that's going to look really, really cool. See, I just took the most amazing nap ever. It was like over an hour long. <laughs> oh, look at you down dog girl. So tell me if you think that that green line there is level with the top of that post. Come over here and look at it. Oh wow, look how low it is, huh? This guy's telling me to get a tube with a little bubble in it and do it, do it the old school way because he doesn't trust it. Let's leave he's, it saying, he's saying yeah. Good up just in time, you hear this? The rain's coming. And we can kind of give this a little test now. I, I did want it to be a little bit tighter. You can see it kind of bows a little in the middle. So I'm worried it's gonna pull up with water, but we're not gonna really know until, well, we'll know in about two minutes, so we'll check and see. Yeah, so it was pooling a lot. 
It wasn't gonna work, it was all gonna rip, so we kinda had to just drop this corner for now. You can see just how much water is gushing off of there. We're gonna have to figure something out. I think we're gonna have to slant it a little bit, which I'm not super excited about, because I don't think it's gonna look that good. But there's just so, there's just so much water that comes down, and it comes down so aggressively and so quickly that we're gonna have to figure something out. Four juicy tacos. Just remember, dude, a land stare always pays his debts. Oh, you even got the juice. Thank you, bro. Dude, Celtics tonight. What time? If you want to come and watch, it's at 7.30. It's game seven. Rodrigo's been amazing, and he bailed this out the other day, and we told him we're going to get him tacos for a whole year. <laughs> so if you guys saw us say that on this vlog, just know he's getting tacos for a whole year. <laughs> So I was working on building an extension cord. Um, I was cutting some wires and stripping some wires. And then we got a knock on our door. And it was Kake. And he told us he wanted to leave the farm. Or he told us he, he, told us he was leaving the farm. What's up? Did, did Kake talk to you? Huh? Did Kake talk to you? No, really? He just came up here. Gave us the keys to the bus. He said, I'm leaving. All the hard said. He said it was over. Yeah. What? He said, the bus, he said the bus is all clean. Here's the keys, I'm leaving. And then, like, do you want to talk about it? He said, no. He said, we're at my dad's house. And then said, God bless you, and walked away. What, what are we going to do? To be completely honest, you guys, these are the moments we absolutely dread filming and talking about. There are not many moments that we've had like this, but um, that kind of comes with filming pretty much every single moment of our lives for the last five years. Um, it's important to document these moments because um this, no. this youtube channel is about this farm this and is, yeah. he's been a huge part of this farm for two and a half years so it's not like we can just back just ignore the fact that kake is gone now we also have to include adriana in this too adriana is his girlfriend and adriana took sadie five days a week for two hours she had responsibilities um, she helped us gr immensely with the dogs. It was her dream to have a dog rescue shelter, which was why we rescued those five dogs. Not the only reason, but a big reason. I feel really, really, really sad. I feel a little angry. I feel shocked. I feel, um, I don't know. In a way, it like, feels like a failure, because it's like, We had this whole vision of creating this, you know, beautiful community who relied on one another and supported one another and, uh, yeah, just things are, things are going to look a lot different going forward. And to be honest, we just spent the last, like, four, four or five hours just with Rodrigo, just, like trying to make sense of all this and just like be there for one another because we're all feeling the same thing right now I think I don't know I just never ever ever in a million years ever thought we'd be making this video I think that's really all we, we have to say about this right now um yeah thank you guys for being there thank you for following along I wish we had more to give you right now, but we're gonna end the video here. 
And um, we'll see you guys in the next one.